Hey guys, hope everybody's having a fantastic day today. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I am glad you're here. Today we're going to do a short little review slash overview of this traditional Boker Sulage in Germany Smoky Mountain Knife Works special edition or their limited edition of a Boker Club. But before we break into it, if you guys would please hit the subscribe button below and hit the bell notification icon. The bell notification icon will let YouTube know you're a human who's actually interested in knife and EDC content. By subscribing, you'll be notified when I release new content and the bell notification will actually alert you if I go live or if I post something in the community post. And it allegedly helps my videos get seen by more people. So I'd really appreciate it if you guys do have the time to subscribe. But when I say Smoky Mountain Knife Works exclusive, they did several patterns with Boker in this particular material combination, which is copper. It's got like a, either a canvas or a heavy burlap micarta. And then this is a spear point blade on the club, but it's got 01 tool steel got an interesting little swedge up here at the top of the of the blade and then it's got what they call this match pull here um, the walk and talk on this knife are pretty light I'd give this a three four maybe a four three four again it's not gonna slam shut on you It's just not as heavy as some of the others we've looked at. But again, for a secondary carry, this little knife, um, it reminds me of a larger version of a pin knife. Um, the blade is kind of unique. Y'all notice kind of the fun funkied up sharpening job there. One thing I've noticed about my experience with the Smoky Mountain Knife Works 01 Tool Steel Boker Sulligen Germany knives that I brought into the collection, They've all come pretty much without an edge or very, very dull. So the first one I put on my TS prop without giving it much thought, went to town and realized these slippies aren't really meant to be sharpened at a certain angle on a TF prop. So I kind of boogered up the tip a little bit, but then I worked it and have worked it back out on a, uh, a uh, work sharp, not the, it's the work sharp field sharpener, the field sharpener pro, the little stone that's about this long. It's got a coarse stone on one side, fine stone on the other, has a ceramic rod on one side and a strop on the other, just a little $26, $27 sharpener. But now when my, when I've gotten another boker that I'll bring to you guys in a few days, um, and it came in with a similar type of symptom, right? It was kind of dull. I just worked it on that hand sharpener. So usually that bummed me out because some of these knives have come very, very sharp. This one was kind of a bummer because I didn't do it the way I'd like to have done it. But um, again, it, it works, works well. Let's we'll see how sharp it is. I don't think it's going to be here popping sharp, but it will be paper cutting sharp. So not the prettiest edge, but it is definitely well cut. So going forward with slit joints, I'm just going to learn to, I've pretty well gotten to where I can hold my angle on that little field, um, that little field sharpener, just because I'm doing it on such a small blade. And again, the trick is never let your tip come off that stone. Um, I learned that watching Jared Knee sharpen and, uh, Everything I've learned sharpening, I've learned from Jared, by the way, except for this hacked up job. But anyway, the Boker Club is kind of a, for a slip joint, I'm going to call it a medium sized, maybe even, yeah, I'm going to call it a medium size. Because again, I know they range in all different sizes and we'll get some measurements here in a second. It's a very, very thin knife. That's the first thing I noticed about it. Because when I bought this knife, this was the third slip joint to come into my collection. The first one I bought, as you guys remember, was the Ohio River Jack from Austin. And then I picked up the Hedgehog 
from Austin because it was a QSP and I like the hollow grind. Both of these are modern traditionals, so right, they're screwed together, not that I'd ever want to take them apart. They're also a good bit thicker, and I didn't know this when I ordered it, but a great deal thicker than the Little Boker Club. So when this came in, I was kind of surprised with the size of it. I was surprised because on the traditional pocket knives, this micarta is very natural, right? It'll accept oils. It feels just natural micarta. Well, this is burlap micarta, but it's got a real thin coating on it, right? So you can't feel it. Makes it easier to maintain, to clean up. I'm sure this copper will patina because again, the bolsters and the liners are copper as are the pins. And I've learned from my brother Pocket Metal that this shape is commonly referred to as a cigar shape because it's got equal details, bolsters on both ends, and it's uh, kind of a hot dog shape. But the blade, I guess you'd call it a spear point, and this is just a little extra treatment that Boker did to it. But um, real nice knife, doesn't have any, let's look at the, came very centered. Might not look centered under the camera, but it is. You can, I mean, I wouldn't call it blade play, but I can feel what, what would be the blade moving, but there's no slop in there. I think that's just part of the nature of the beast. The walk and talk is very um, pleasant, not too hard, definitely not too soft. And again, with this O1 tool steel, the only thing you have to watch out for is this is not um, a corrosion resistant tool steel. So what I do is I break out my Wicked Wax and I take just a little smudge on my finger, get it on both sides of that blade. On a slip joint, it takes me no time at all. So before I put this knife up, I will just coat it down with some Wicked Wax. Make sure I get all that O1 tool steel. Screw it back up so it doesn't dry out. Then I'll wipe my Wicked Wax off. Wax on, wax off, right? Get it out of my pool. I don't want to leave any on it, but I do want to leave the film on it. And now I've got a protected tool steel Boker Club. Get that crap out of the way. Get the Wicked Wax out of the way. Good stuff, guys. I've really enjoyed the Wicked Wax. And like I said, they've got Wicked Clean now. I'm not sponsored, but I'll put a link down in the description in case you guys want to check it out. Um, I'll put a link to the Priest Forge, and then you can look at the dealers there. River's Edge Cutlery carries it, DLT, and some others. But guys, I like the look of this knife. It does kind of remind me of my, my dad's, my grandpa's knife, because it is just that I've still only ventured into single blades, but it reminds me kind of a larger single blade pin knife. Um, again, just really well done by Boker. I've been pleased with every, you know, Boker that I've brought in so far, because I'm just learning about slip joints. I'm buying them simply based on what I look like and what I like. The reason I bought this one and the other Bokers is Smoky Mountain Knife Works right now is having a closeout on about four patterns, five patterns with the copper and the tool steel. And then they've also got some similar patterns with brass, a different micarta, and either N690 or 440C if you're looking for something more stainless. So they're all on sale. We're somewhere between, depending on the pattern, 140 to 160 bucks. And Smoky Mountain Knife Works has them on sale for $99.99, which is what led me to pick this one up because it seemed like a good value for what it was. It is a Solage in Germany made slip joint. Um, came packaged very well with, you know, and I just felt like from what I've read, Boker's been doing it for quite a while. 
Um, these knives were within my price range at 99 bucks and it allowed me to experience them. So I'll put a link in the description for those. Let's do a couple of real quick size comparisons, guys. I've carried on way too long. Let's look at it next to Civivi Elementum. No need to break out the Cold Steel 4Max. Cold Steel 4Max closed. It's a little bit bigger than the Cold Steel 4Max closed. It's bigger than the Civivi Baby Banter. Let's look at it next to the Ohio River Jack and the QSP Hedgehog, my first two slippies. About the same size as those guys. Now for those of you that might need a different point of reference, let's look at it next to the Benchmade Bug Out. and the Benchmade Baby Bug Out. So guys, it's just about the size of a Benchmade Baby Bug Out, right? If you put those two on top of each other, they're right around the same length, which translates to, ta-da, let's get the Ben Peterson ruler, give y'all a quick few measurements. The blade on this guy is two and three quarters, the handle is three and three quarters. That's two and three quarters and three and three quarters. Roughly seven and three quarters on the overall knife. But yeah, guys, that is the Boker Club from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And I will, oh, we're gonna look at some thickness on that. Right around a quarter of an inch thick. An eighth of an inch thick, I'm sorry. No, a quarter of an inch. I can't re read the tape, guys. About a quarter of an inch thick. I don't have the calipers handy. I've kept you guys too long. Please, if you're still here, which I'm sure you're not, hit that subscribe button, bell notification icon. Please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Please look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart. Choose debate instead of blind hate. I love you all. Peace.